Hi, this is Scott Brown, and we're at Apex 2024. We're in the Autel booth. I'm with Motor Age Magazine, and I'm here with Mike Flink with Autel, and we're talking about the MS906 Max. This is a new tool, has a little bit larger display. Um, it's a powerhouse tool. It's, it's one, if you're in the Maxisys uh, business, if you've got a Maxisys, this is a good addition uh, to the shop floor because it can let your other techs go and do like the initial triage or, or what have you. But we're going to talk a little bit about the new differences uh, in this tool. And the first thing I wanted to point out, the thing that I really like on the smaller VCI here, because I've had VCIs left in a car before, is that when you're done with this session, it, it makes some audible noises and reminds that tech to, to pull that out of the car. So that's a, that's a, great, uh, a great feature. But Tell me, what's, what are the key indicators here, or what are the key differentiators here uh, be, from where we came from? You bet. So we came up from our 906 Pro. We figured out that technicians needed a little bit bigger chassis, easier to hold on to, maneuver around, than having the smaller platform that we were on, and that wider viewing area. You're graphing PIDs. You're looking at different data items and comparing it. Needed a bigger screen. So we took from the 8-inch chassis we were on with the Pro, up to our new 906 Max in order to help them have that viewing area, larger chassis and stuff to hold with. Uh, naturally, as stuff progresses, we are a little bit higher Android level than the Mac, than the Pro was. A little bit faster response time. Yeah. Okay. And as far as the functionality, basically all the functionality is pretty much there, right? Absolutely. And you mentioned for a shop using it as a secondary tool, backing up their Alltail or whatever brand, keep in mind that even all the way up to our top Ultra, We've got additional features like topology and that, but the scan functionality, the raw communicate to the car and work, is the same as even the top level tools. Okay. So you're getting all of that coverage. Yeah, so the, the standard graphing, if you, if you are coming from a maxi says, it'll be smooth and, and, and natural because all the internal features are pretty much the same. The menuing system's the same. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so situation there, I'm adding this to my arsenal of the maxi says. I could pair it to that, that VCI? Absolutely. Okay. Any of our VCIs will cross pair, so you can take your bigger pass-through device on Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi like the bigger tools, and pair it to this. Here's a bonus tip for them when they've got it. They can take that little one, and if they're using their big tool for something that doesn't need the VCI or VCMI, yeah. they can pair this and use this smaller use device to okay. do a fast scan even with the bigger tool. Okay, all right. Um, I also see an ADAS tab, so is that something you can add into this too? Absolutely. Now the new IA900, the wheel aligner in ADAS, that takes the dual Wi-Fi of the bigger tools, okay. but our MA600s, mm -hmm. our smaller frames, the old standard frame, all of that can be run on this chassis. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, and so what other, what other features come to mind here that are, that with are the, beneficial? With the 906 Max, obviously our constant updates. Data manager is probably an unused one that a, guy, a lot of guys don't realize. You can put your shop information in to show on any of the printouts that you do and reports. You can store vehicle and customer history and relate the two together so that you can automatically look back at an individual customer's different cars they own and history on them if you're having to do whether it's warranty repeat work or just make sure what the last repair was. Yeah, that's that the custom setup on the reporting. I, we do that on all of our stuff. We had our little logo for our shop, so now when we produce that report, we, we give it to the customer. It's got our branding on it, so that's... that's Absolutely. Uh, that's Another feature of our tools gets underused is the remote desktop. That's powered by TeamViewer. We use it with a paid-for commercial account to help in the tech support world where we can actually dial into a tool, help them operate or identify what the problem is. But I don't think shops realize that on a personal level, they could use TeamViewer for free okay. and be able to themselves from one location help their other technician in a different location okay. by seeing the screen live and working the tool with yeah. them so that they can get the most work out of their best techs without having to drive between shops. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great feature. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, there was one other thing. Oh, we have, uh, I see battery test here, so can we add a battery uh, We can device? add our little BT506 pug, okay. and then be able to perform in and out of vehicle battery tests right through here. Okay, so then this, this what makes this appealing to me then, is that this could be a, a nice inspection tool for the, for the technician in the shop. 
uh, so that they can you know, go through the inspection. I mean, that's why we sell service, right? We go through inspection, we identify all the stuff, put all their cards on the table, show the customer, and, and that's how we generate revenue. The so, way to do it. All right, so Mike, for a shop that, say, doesn't have any off equipment in there, and they're, they're, maybe they've looked at the Ultra, and they're going, well, I want to get the Ultra, but maybe it's, maybe it's not, that's not in their budget at, at the current time. How much more affordable is this to get into uh, below that, uh, below the Ultra? Oh, absolutely great value. You're looking about a $1,500 savings okay. versus the Ultra with that same quality of coverage, just not the additional features. So like you mentioned, for a shop wanting to dive into the, dip a toe in Autel, if you will, instead of diving in at first, a starting point, secondary scanner, as we mentioned, to whatever they're on, for the technician in the shop who the shop may have the big tool, he can't quite make that jump for himself, great tool for him as well. Okay, and then there is a pathway, so if you didn't decide to get the Ultra, right, then there's some, some cross-functionality here. So you, we've got the small VCI here, but if you wanted to use some of the other functions that required the other VCI, you could easily pair the two. You could easily do that yeah. and use that smaller VCI with your big tool, has a fast scan access. So yeah, this is a pretty nice, uh, nice setup. Thank you for your uh, review. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Scott. And, Pleasure uh, always. Look forward to uh, seeing what the future brings, right? You bet. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs>